Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose. And for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my fall favorites. So fall is here and as usual, I buy a lot of makeup. I receive a lot of makeup, thankfully. And I have a lot of favorites. So I wanna share with you guys my fall favorites. So let's get right into it. And it might not be a surprise, but the first thing I'm going to talk about is this new foundation from House Labs. It's the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, Lady Gaga's makeup brand, if you're not familiar. I did a whole vlog slash wear test using this foundation. And that was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, depending on like when you're watching this video. And my thoughts have not changed. I still am obsessed with this foundation. I love the coverage. I love the finish of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful satin finish, but it has a little bit of a glow to it, but not like an overwhelming amount of glow, which I, like I've said in the video, I really appreciate that with the foundation. I think it makes it more of a versatile formula. I have since got so many of my friends to buy this foundation and try it out and they all reported back that they loved it. So. It's definitely one of my fall favorites. I have been wearing it every single day. I'm currently wearing it right now and my skin is loving it. So the only thing that I want to update you guys on is I replaced both shades that I originally purchased. I decided that they just were not working out and I really gave them a good test run. I really tried them out. Well, I gave one of them a good test run. I gave the shade 260 light, medium, cool. If you watch that video, you'll know which shade I'm talking about. That one was close to my skin tone. It, it was really close, but it, there was something that was just off. And depending on what lighting situation I was in, it either looked perfect or it looked very, very wrong. So as a makeup artist, I can't walk around risking that. So I had to exchange it. I felt really bad. I apologize to the girls at Sephora that were helping me. And I just always feel bad returning stuff, to be honest. But so I did replace it with two different shades. Now, the shade that I am currently wearing, and the reason why I got two is for a couple reasons. We're going into fall and winter. I'm not going to be as exposed to the sun as I have been. So my coloring is probably gonna change just a little bit and really only a little bit. I, I only change slightly in the winter. Anyway, so I'm going to be currently wearing the shade 230 light, medium, cool. And also if you guys watched that video um, where I talked about the wear and I tried it out, I, I did discuss the undertones and my thoughts on that. So I'm gonna save that for that video in case you missed that, go refer to that video. And I talk all about the undertones and the way they color match their formulas and how I don't agree with it. So I'm not gonna go into those details for this video. I just wanna talk about how I do love the foundation, that aside. The other shade that I got to just kind of neutralize with this one because this one is a lot more yellow based than I typically gravitate towards. Um, I'm more of a warm olive undertone, but I could wear a lot of neutral tones as well. So I did pick up a neutral just to have on hand. I like to have two different shades and foundations unless I can get the exact match, which I typically can with like my Dior and my Armani foundation. Those are usually an exact match for me. This one or this formula, I found that I couldn't find an exact match. So it's just handy to have two on hand. Is it expensive? Totally, but I'm a makeup artist and I know I will wear it and get my money's worth. So I got 230 light, medium, cool, and I have 250 light, medium, neutral. So these are my two shades. These are working so, so much better than the first shades that I picked out when I purchased this. So yay me for picking out the right shades, finally. But these are absolutely probably my top, top favorite fall item as far as makeup goes. The second thing I wanna talk about for my fall favorites is this lipstick. And it's not a new shade, it's not a new formula, it's just new to me, and that still counts. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick in two. So it's Pillow Talk two. And if you're familiar with the original, it's a lot lighter than this. They make three now, I believe, or maybe it's just three lip liners. This is the number two, so it's deeper in tone as the original one that she launched, and I love it. I think it's a really beautiful fall lipstick, and one of my favorite ways to just update your makeup in general going into fall is not to overthink it, first of all, and just to switch out your lipstick. So we all have our daily go-tos um, throughout the year, and I think fall is a great time to just revamp your shades and go for something a little more cool toned or a little more on like the berry side. Um, or on like the mocha side, like it, it's a really great time to 
change up your lipstick and it's a really easy way to update your everyday makeup and transition it from summer to fall. So this has been one of my go-tos for that reason because I think it's a beautiful fall shade and I think it's just gonna be one of my favorites in general even after fall. But for fall specifically, this is gorgeous. And speaking of lipsticks, another fall favorite. You guys might recognize this one. This was the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Jessie. This is the shade, if you missed it, I wore this in my cool tone fall makeup look and I have been wearing it still ever since. It's so beautiful. And if you watch that video, you'll see how pretty it is too. It's so beautiful on. And if you missed that video, definitely go check it out. I wore this lipstick with Foxy Brown Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And that has been one of my go-to combos ever since. So this lipstick, Jessie, with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 have been my go-to lipsticks for fall. Another fall favorite has been this eyeliner from MAC. And again, it's another product that I used in one of my makeup tutorials. This was in my MAC haul video and also my MAC makeup look video. So it's that video where I use all MAC makeup to do a whole face. And this was the eyeliner that I use. It's the MAC Color Excess gel pencil eyeliner in the shade Nudge Nudge Ink Ink. And this is a really, really beautiful fall tone. So if you're looking to update your eyeliners for fall and maybe like throw in a color that's still neutral, but more fun, I highly recommend this shade. And if you wanna see the color exactly what it looks like on, I'll actually link the video that I'm referring to. It's my MAC makeup look. I'm wearing it in that video. Okay, so the next item on my list, I have been loving this so much and I know I've talked about it before but I did receive this from Patrick Ta. I went to their event launching this cream to powder combo. Um, it's a cream foundation basically but it has a powder as well. So it's got a finishing powder and then of course the cream foundation. This has been my Monday through Friday legitimately. Like this has been my Monday through Friday when I'm in a hurry and I just need to put something on my skin that's really easy to blend. It gives me like a decent amount of coverage. This actually gives a lot of coverage, to be honest, depending on how you apply it. But for me, I love the way it sits on top of my skincare, especially. So I love my serums, my moisturizers, my SPF, all those things. And this sits beautifully on top of that like my skincare combination, and it wears really, really beautifully throughout the day. It's very long wearing. It's super easy to build up in terms of coverage. So let's say I want more coverage in certain areas of my face. It's extremely easy and user-friendly to apply and also build up and customize the amount of coverage that you want with it. I think this is like something that I would recommend for anyone who is maybe not the most handy with foundation or not the most skilled with applying foundation. I think this is so user-friendly. It's ridiculous. It's kind of like a foolproof formula for foundation where it's just super easy to apply. It's not scary, easy to blend, like I said, and it's just been one of my go-tos for that reason. So I have been loving this. I've been wearing the shade light medium too. It matches my skin perfectly, like to the point where I don't have to blend anything down my neck. The color match is just spot on and yeah I've been loving this like this has been on heavy rotation like I said Monday through Friday especially lately I've been doing my makeup a lot once I arrive to work so once I have landed at work and I have a little bit of time to myself when I'm parked I will pack up a makeup bag a small makeup bag for myself this is always in it and I throw on my makeup really quick before I head into work and that's how I've been doing it lately just because I've been really busy but, and waking up really, really early. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my favorites and I'll stop talking about it now because I've talked enough about it. The next item I just received in PR from the brand Nude Six. I'm not new to this brand. I have used their cream blushes for years and years and I've always loved them. And I've always loved their shades too. I think their shades are exceptionally beautiful and they have a really broad range of, of beautiful tones for everyone. So I really appreciate that but the brand sent me this one just recently and I literally have not taken it out of my personal makeup kit ever since. I've been wearing it every single day, like literally every day. It's the shade Nude Buff and I wanna say this is a new shade. Um, I don't recognize the name, so I feel like it is a new shade. And anyway, it was launched with a three pack of products that was in collaboration with Glamzilla. So 
It's, I don't know if it's her shade that she like formulated or customized, either way, it's just beautiful. And I almost, I think I'm gonna pick up another one to put in my makeup kit because this is the kind of shade that I would use constantly on myself and on a ton of my clients. So this has definitely been one of my favorites. I also love the fact that it's just a really pretty everyday neutral that you could throw on with this kind of lip. You could throw on with like a deeper lip. You could throw on with no lip and just a gloss and call it good. So it's great for so many reasons. So if you're my skin tone, a little bit deeper or a little bit lighter, this is going to be a really beautiful shade on you. Going back to House Labs, this is another product that I picked up for a makeup tutorial. I use this in my Cool Tone Fall makeup look and I really, really, really like it. Is it groundbreaking? Absolutely not. Is it really, really nice? Heck yes, it is the high power pigment paint um, in silver shimmer. And they have a whole bunch of shades in this formula. I'm probably gonna go back and get a couple more, especially like the more neutral ones. But this one, it's just beautiful. Like I have it on right now. I am wearing it with more warm tone brown eyeshadows in my crease and I just kind of pat it on top. I did the same thing for my cool tone fall makeup look and it's just really easy. I find that these last incredibly well on my more oily eyelids. So if you're someone who has more oily eyelids and you know you want to find something that works well and will stay put and not crease throughout the day, I think this works really, really nicely. And it's just a beautiful color payoff, easy to apply. So many good things about it. I don't have one complaint about this and it's just been one of my favorites for fall. Um, and again, I, I kind of like the idea of just switching it up and doing more cool tones for fall. And it makes sense when you really like logically think about it, you would switch to like, cooler tones because it's cooler weather. So with that in mind, I just kind of think it's fun to, to have more cool toned products on hand going into fall. And this has been one of my go-tos for that reason. So I've been loving this and I'll let you guys know if I pick up more shades in this formula, which I probably will. Okay, let's switch it up for a second. I know I've talked about a lot of high-end makeup just now. So let's switch it up to drugstore because you know I love drugstore makeup. And I bought this during my Target makeup haul where I bought all makeup that is sold at Target. So of course it's all drugstore makeup. And this was one of the things that I purchased. I thought, like I had it off to the side and I thought, mm, like this is, this is junky, <sighs> not to sound mean, but like it felt really cheap. Even though it wasn't cheap, it was like 10 or 11 bucks, um, which is kind of a lot for only three eyeshadows. I'll double check the price. I might be wrong on the price, but either way, it was it was pretty pricey for what it is. It feels very clunky and cheap and plasticky because it is plastic. And I just thought this is gonna be chalky. There's gonna be no color payoff. It's gonna be ter a terrible formula. But then I finally gave it a shot and it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. And this one in particular is so pretty. It's like a great everyday three pack of colors beautiful for fall, like beautiful for fall. And I always have a hard time figuring out what the shade is because it's, okay, this shade, I wish you guys could see, the label is so tiny. I need, first of all, I need glasses. I can't, it's so hard to read, but it's in tiny, tiny letters. And it says, or it's in tiny, tiny words. And it says 82nd and Park Avenue. So that's the shade of this one. It's really hard to find the shade, but that's the shade. So this one's the most neutral out of all the ones that are out that I saw anyway. And it's just a perfect three pack of shadows for fall. So let me show you them. Cause I've never actually showed them on my YouTube. I don't think I've ever swatched the colors for you guys. So you might be like, what the heck do they look like? You get a nice little neutral right here. It's matte. It's good for like packing on on the eyelid. If you want to highlight your brow bone, if you want to highlight your tear duct, this is what you're going to use. I rarely use this one, to be honest. My go-to is this bad boy. And this is so pretty, just packed on the eyelid. It's gorgeous. It's neutral. I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this eyeshadow that I got at Target. And then this color on the bottom, it's more of a, a satiny matte. And it's just a beautiful neutral to throw in your crease. I love this on my bottom lash line to smoke it out and I call it good. So this has been one of my dailies, like every day. I throw this in like my to-go makeup bag. I throw it in my car and I put it on my eyes really quick before I actually go into work. And it's been so, so pretty. So if you're at Target or CVS, Walmart, they have it everywhere. Think about picking it up because it's it's surprisingly gorgeous. Now my last item that I wanna talk about for drugstore favorites for fall is this black eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner pen from Makeup Revolution. I also picked this up during my Target makeup haul, but I've been wearing it every single day and going into fall, 
I love a good black winged liner. I love a good black winged liner all year round, like 365 days out of the year. But for fall especially, I think it's really fitting and really beautiful. And this formula is so cheap. It was like $10 and it is so good. It doesn't run, doesn't smudge, doesn't crack, doesn't flake. All the things that you don't want with a black liquid liner, this doesn't do. And it just makes a beautiful cat eye for fall. So I've been loving this for a makeup revolution. Switching back over to lip products. This lip liner from Tower 28, it is the one liner, multi liner in the shade Work of Art. This is just beautiful. And it's a beautiful neutral tone. That's It would actually go with this lipstick. It would go with so many other lipsticks. It's perfect for fall. It's just been kind of like one of my no brainers. I throw this in my makeup bag and it's just been working with so many of my favorite lipsticks. Um, I especially love wearing this with MAC Honey Love lipstick and also MAC Kind of Sexy lipstick. This has been so pretty in combination with that. It's just a really beautiful, rich earth tone lip liner. So great for fall, great for any fall lip combos. And the formula is really nice. I've never tried Tower 28's lip products, like their lip liners. And the, the brand sent me this with a couple other shades. This one is by far my favorite and it just looks so, so beautiful on. So the Tower 28 multi-liner in work of art. Okay, I'm coming to an end on my fall favorites. I promise you, I really tried to keep this a small list and not like an overwhelming list. I do had, I had a lot of favorites currently, but I try to keep them very specific to what I think is beautiful and uh, gonna be great for fall. So with that in mind, I think this eyeliner from Victoria Beckham is so gorgeous. This is the shade Fig and it's their Satin Kajal liner. It's one of those liners that is super creamy. It's gonna go on super smooth and really easy. It's gonna just glide on like butter. And I really love the fact that I can blend this out and do multiple things with it. So you can, of course, line your eyes with it. You can do the inside waterline. You can smudge it out. You can apply it to your entire eyelid and then blend it out. It's pliable. So you can do so many things with it, but the shade in particular, this shade fig is so stunning. And I love a good, eggplant or deep purple or plum or fig going into fall. I think it's a really beautiful way to switch up your eye makeup, especially. So this has been definitely one of my favorites for fall. Okay, last but not least, this is not makeup, um, but it, of course it's, you know, it kind of falls in the same category. It's a beauty product. I did get this for free from the brand in PR and I was really, really excited. I love perfume and I love perfume that is a little more like the sweet side. This doesn't exactly fit the description of the kind of perfumes that I would typically love, especially for myself. This is the Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry Fragrance. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first got this, I sprayed it heavily on myself because I was really excited about it. And it gave me the most massive headache I actually thought I was going to throw up. And I'm very sensitive to fragrance, um, not fragrance and makeup, fragrance and makeup. I, I love, I absolutely love it. But fragrance as in terms of like perfumes and, and wearing it. I'm very, very sensitive and a lot of things will give me a nauseous headache. So the first time I put this on, I think I just had a, a user error and I put just way too much on because I had such a horrible headache. I really thought I was gonna throw up and I was upset because I love the way it smells. Like initially when it goes on, it smells incredible. But that day for some reason really messed me up but I gave it another shot and then I gave it another shot. And now I don't know if I've just adjusted to it and my my senses have like adjusted to it and now they, they're accepting this fragrance because now I love it. I've been wearing it every single day. I get so many compliments when people like walk by me or like my coworkers, they, they smell it and they really like it. And that's always a good sign when you get compliments from outside people, not just you know, it's great if you like it, but if other people like it, it's obviously a win-win. You don't wanna like walk by people with uh, an alarmingly strong fragrance and it be offensive. So the fact that I'm getting compliments on it makes me wanna wear it even more, but this has been one of my favorites. I know it's not makeup, but it's definitely a fall favorite of mine. And if you like scents like this, I'm gonna actually list off the, the notes that it has in it. It's burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, goric wood. I probably said that wrong. I'll, I'll write it down <laughs> and uh, patchouli. And normally I hate patchouli, hate it, can't stand it. But it must be such a small amount in this that it's okay. Um, or just like obviously the mix of the other things that are in this 
tone the patchouli down. It smells so, so good. So this is also, from what I've heard, I've never smelled the the cherry one, whatever it's called. I know there's a cherry one from Tom Ford. Red cherry, burning cherry. I don't know. There's a Tom Ford fragrance with something cherry. And this is supposed to be a kind of a knockoff from what I've heard. So if you've smelled that one or you wear it, let me know in the comments if this is a dupe for it. I'm just curious. Or let me know if you if you think I'd like that one more now that I like this one. Maybe I should jump over to Tom Ford and, and see if I like that one too. But that wraps up this video. I'm sorry if it was long-winded. I have a lot of favorites. I actually spared you guys from a couple of the products I decided to, to take out just because this video is gonna be really long. But these are like my true, true fall favorites. So I hope you guys liked them. If you do, or if any of these are your favorites as well, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, if you did like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Instagram. Of course, I'm at Makeup by Nikki LaRose and I'm also on TikTok with the same name where you guys can talk to me there and check out my other videos and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.